we're using the selfie camera, so I don't want to use it for long. We're the Master Brothers, and today we're at Ryan House because I'm doing my first one, proper racing experience. It's Club 100. I have no idea what to expect, but the cards look rapid, so it should be pretty cool. It's just a test, not a race, but yeah, I'm gonna go and get ready now, get kitted up, borrowing everything, so let's see how it goes. I'm really just gonna walk. I'm just following it. along. I've always loved cars and racing, and I consider myself to be pretty good at driving. But the last time I've done any kind of karting was three years ago, and that was in terrible karts. So after being at home for the last year and a half, I wanted to finally try my hand out properly, and I was told that Club 100 would be the place to go. So just got my kit uh, back in the car, because I have to change in the car because of our good friend, COVID. Um, they've lent me a, a lovely medium Club 100 helmet, a balaclava, some kit, some gloves, should be everything I need. I'm not gonna go naked, obviously. There's some racing going on currently. Wow, it's mad, look at it. Get the, get the, get the drive, get the drive. It's lap one. Oh, everyone's just bunched up. Go on, Sean, give us a look. Tesla's not meant for uh, having a race helmet on. Who's waving? I was waving. That's a pretty snug fit. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. That's a pretty snug fit. It's a pretty cool looking helmet to be fair. Most drivers bring their own kit, but if you don't have any, then you can borrow some like I did, and they'll provide you with suit, helmet, and balaclava. Now I'm setting my goal pretty high for this session. I'd really like to be the best out of the other novices in the group, and to be honest, I'd really like to come towards the top. I'd like to get some of the fastest lap times, but clearly that's going really well at the start of lap one, or not even the start of lap one, but in the pits when I narrowly miss a broken down car. And then I proceed to hold up the whole pack behind me as I'm completely out of my comfort zone. I'm trying to get used to how the cart feels. So I just let everyone go past me around on the inside uh, and then just kind of give myself a bit of space so I can get a feel for the inputs, the brakes, the throttle and the steering. Immediately after turn four on lap one, the GoPro actually cuts out for the rest of the entire half hour session, which I only found out after, which is super annoying. Luckily though, Millen was there to record some bits of me completely missing apexes and getting overtaken by just about everybody on track. Yeah, that's me at the very end after letting absolutely everyone go past. Now to talk about the carts a little bit, they're absolutely brilliant and they require a lot of focus as even just small inputs to any of the steering, brakes or throttle will change your direction. The brakes are pretty sharp and you can lock up the rears pretty easily. I'm not sure if you noticed it on lap one with the GoPro footage, but coming down into turn three, the hairpin, you can really hear the revs go way down as I put my foot on the brakes, test them out a little bit and the rears do lock up just a little bit. There were a few spins throughout the session, but none for me until the very last lap. And it was basically down to a short lapse of focus as we got to the end. I was braking towards the hairpin at turn three and I just lost it under braking. The rears locked up and went into a bit of a rear spin. I really wish the GoPro had actually recorded this session because I would have showed you that spin, but I also would have showed you a couple of heroic saves that I made if I do say so myself. But anyways, how well did I do at the end of the session, having not been in a cart for three years and never doing any sort of racing to this level? Post-race interview. I'm so tired, I'm not good. That was tiring in my hands. Not shaking, but in pain. <laughs> it was good though. Um, the carts are a lot quicker than I was expecting. My right knee got battered, it's like it's hitting the thing, but. It was good, it was really good. I got, I came 22nd out of 26. So, he didn't say come, he didn't say come straight back for, uh, for racing. Cause racing is really busy this year. It's 2021, COVID, everyone's like cabin fever. So he was like, come back, do some more testing. So might book in some more testing, hone the craft. I thought I was a good driver. I've been reality checked in the face. That's it from the Master Brothers or from the Master Brother. Catch you on the flippity flip.